Hello everyone, my name is Braves and welcome back. Today we'll be playing part 3 of What Remains of Edith Finch, which is this incredible indie adventure game where you travel through a house trying to figure out what happened to this cursed family, playing as one of the family members. I really enjoyed it, I hope you enjoy the video and if you do, please drop me a follow and a like because that really means the world to me. But without further ado, thank you for clicking on the video and I hope you enjoy the rest of it. Can I spin? Thank you. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Thank you, Key. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. So what happened to Sven? Pool. Imagine just having a pool table downstairs. I'd love a pool table. Mom said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. <laughs> That's fair enough. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, mm. carrying packages. Packages? What was she carrying? Was she taking them down to someone? I don't know. Oh! I thought maybe she was hiding presents. Mm. I'm hoping it's gonna be guts and gore. Oh, yo! I doubt she was hiding a lot more than that. What the hell? What the hell is this? It is pitch black. It is genuinely pitch black down here. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. Oh. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Oh. Uh, is this if where Walter went? in all these stories. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Oh. There he is. Walter. Bless, he looks so sad. Oh no. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. What the f- 30 years? On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. What? What the hell? But after a few days, oh, I, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Routine. Kept me sane. Having a schedule. Living for today. Are those... What the hell are that? I always oh, expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Uh. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. Oh yeah, and I'm really day, enjoying this. Everything just stopped. Huh. I'm really enjoying Whatever this. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. I find the movement of this. It's been a week now. The longest in 30 years. Oh, my God. I'm done waiting. I have to leave. Well, I still can. Oh, my God. The movement of the mouse is my favorite part. Why are there trenches underneath this house? Is this the mole man they were talking about? <laughs> I'm sorry, I know it's out the there the back. somewhere. Am I gonna encounter a mole man? killed Barbara and Molly. Molly. Oh, sh And Calvin. Oh my god, it was a monster. Maybe this is all a mistake. Wow. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. Oh. This game is gorgeous. 
month or a single week. I'd be happy. Why are they just train tracks? One new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. <gasps> I said why the train tracks. That is, that's why the, the train tracks are there. Bloody hell. Okay, that's what Walter happened to Walter. Six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Oh, that's kind of cute, but also so sad. Uh, train oh, he liked trains. LOL! <laughs> Please. But I she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. Yeah, been hit by a train. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Ayo, what's down here? I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. What? That is disgusting. Binabudu. So sounds really. I'm trying to bury something that's still alive. <laughs> Uh, we're not gonna be hit, right? Now that there's only one of us left, <laughs> or maybe two. I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse we made it real. Walter. 1950, Benny loved trains and there was no train tracks. Unless it was behind me, there was no train tracks. They just went off into the ocean. Oh my god. I don't know if I should even be writing this. This. Why is there another chair? Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. Oh. But I thought you should know about your family. Um, what? And the history you're a part of. There's so much more to know. To hear. And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness. Any of it seems possible. Oh, it's the tree. It, um, it's a. It's a swing, and he swung right off the cliff. Oh god. I wanna go around here. Go I think that. we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? God, that, that's true. <laughs> So many. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but the pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. <laughs> oh my god. Three of the gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. Oh no! <laughs> so Lucy, Daisy, Charlie, Tucker. Oh, I like how there's a little cat in there. Tucker, Coco, Zoe, Zerpy, Lurpy, Furpy, Chirpy, Burpy, Derpy, and Derpy Jean. <laughs> Shatsy, Shadow, Christopher, Bob, and Oliver. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Oh. Edie was alive for a long time. Bloody hell. Molly Finch. Oh, what happened? I don't understand what happened with her death. Oh, the monster came for her. Calvin. To the moon. Sven, oh, Sven bled to death and died. He sawed off his hand. 
what happened to Edie? I can't remember what happened to Edie. She just died, right? Walter got hit by a train. That's such a cool little carving. Barbara Finch died of stardom. And then Odin I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. He went down with the ship. <laughs> she could see it poking out of the water at low tide. That's where he died? Just off the cliff? He died? You can swim from there! I can't. You can swim from there. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. God. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. He died in action. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Oh. They have all died with such little time on their life. They were alive for so little. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Milton. We never found Milton's body, so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. Oh. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, <laughs> I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Oh, she's pregnant? Uh-oh. Bigger bellies. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. America! <laughs> Sam spent his life shooting photos, but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess mm. we're all afraid of something. <laughs> Quality cigars. Alcohol. Sam. US Marines. Woo! Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Hmm? How'd I focus? Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. What? Perfect. <laughs> It's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Let's see. I will never forget this weekend, Dad. Oh. Okay, got it. I'm going to take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. <laughs> Want to make him take a photo? Hmm. Definitely should not have drunk. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's a keeper. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff, if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Dad! Good eyes, Don. I'm just looking at the stuff. I like the face of him, but I want to take a photo of that. Can I get them both in focus? I can't, I'm going to have to go for bed. The bed doesn't in focus. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of it. Dad, I, I... Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. Oh, hunting's horrible. Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you need to be strong. 
Great shot, Don. Oh no. <laughs> Let me go, 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 run, 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 run. Up, 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 up. Dad, it's twitching. I think it's totally normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about it. Dad! Oh. Shit. Oh, shit. Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both yeah. lost a lot. Hey yo, that is one creepy looking baby. Why does he have Gregory tattooed on him? Oh no, he doesn't. <laughs> Divorce contract. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Oh. Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Nice. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Uh oh. Hee <laughs> hee! <laughs> over, Gregory. It's time to... Hold on, sweetie. Back. Hello? <laughs> Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. <laughs> Come on, unplug that. <gasps> bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Bubbles. What his world was like. Oh no! Oh, uh, my depth possession. Hello. Yee. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this game is lovely. Can I hit? The I got Hello. Where's that duck? Where? <laughs> you reminded me so much of Calvin. <laughs> Look at the ducks. Lost in his imagination. Oh, he's young. <laughs> Whatever it was, he saw. Look at those big diamonds. <laughs> what am I meant to be doing? <laughs> Ball! Ball! Let me get the ball! <laughs> I'm just having fun! Oh, I think I'm meant to be pressing something. Oh! It sure made him happy. <laughs> <laughs> this makes me happy. I remember I used to be like this when I was a kid. I used to have all my little. I had my gerbils. Let me jump. Oh wait, let me get on, let me get on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. How silly it sounds. Let me get the bubbles, let me get the bubbles, let me get the bubbles. But I worried about a baby being too happy. <laughs> what do you mean a baby being too happy? There's nothing wrong with the kids being happy. <laughs> Go back on. I wish you could have told us. Oh um, no. <laughs> oh, this is. Hey, there's so much I don't understand. Oh, Gregory. About Gregory. <gasps> About everything. 
me go? But I know what happened. You don't leave a little child to you don't leave a little child to um swim in the bath alone. Oh he's going into the white light. Oh my god. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Gregory Dawn. Oh, uh, Gus. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and <gasps> the yet. <mohawk. laughs> Gus, fuck you. He had black nail polish. Poem for a Gus. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. The storm inside his heart. This man's... Look at his little... This is so cool. Let me get all of it. Him out of it. But though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom or the words that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Give me all of my words, please. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. This guy was a proper, proper rebel kid. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Oh, I need to get on there. Oh, wow. Well. The rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. No! He's fallen! This game is The thunder sounded incredible. much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, make the music louder. Uh. It's gonna be a tornado. I'm picking up everything. I wish that. Oh. Oh. Oh no. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't. Oh. Until we found you. What happened to Gus? She never talked about him, but mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Oh. Oh. That's cool. Gus and his kite. Oh, and his little wind thing. And his black nail polish and his anarchy. <laughs> and death. And whoa. And all that sort of stuff. And his headphones. Gus. With sympathy. Sympathy? <laughs> With sympathy. Deeper sympathy with sympathy. sympathy. Raise flag 7 a.m. Breakfast a.m. Quiet time 11 p.m. Duties dawn sleep trash mop Gus mop mow yard Greg be a baby <laughs> routine jump rope 100 times jumping jacks 150 push ups 100 crunches 100 run to mailbox and back. What the hell? <laughs> That's intense! Strength. Respect, teamwork. God, I would have hated that. Oh, I would have. That's like extreme military father. I'm so glad my 